Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Learning Science with Shweta. In this session, I will introduce you to a whole new world, a beautiful world of life science in this planet. There are lots of interesting living organisms and life processes happens all around us, which we see or we do or experience almost regularly at some point in time. Your curiosity would have definitely got the better of you and would have pushed you to ask questions like what is this, what's going on inside and outside of your body, how does that happen? Well, the answer to all these questions is science, mostly life science. You see, there is more events happens in our everyday life than what we see through our eyes. So, to appreciate different living organisms and life processes that you see, you have to first understand events and organisms that you don't see. Confused? Don't worry. Let's make it simple by looking into our daily life examples. Have you ever wondered how we manage to stay cool in the face of air conditioners, fans and coolers? Humans are naturally curious beings who are interested and curious about the reasons for every event. You know, life science is involved in our all life events from cooking to eating, breathing, driving, playing and many more activities. The fabric we wear, the brush and paste we use, shampoo, talcum powder, oil we apply, Everything is the consequence of advancement of life science. Life is unimaginable without all this as it has become a necessity. However, how to study the qualities of a certain species or a process was a major concern for all human beings. There are scientists who have grouped the study of several subjects under different branches of life science. In this session, I will discuss about different branches of life science to make it simple to understand different biological processes. This video will help you to understand different branches of biological sciences. The most popular life science subjects for post graduation are Biology, Botany, Zoology, Nursing, Genetics, Agricultural Science, Anatomy, ecosystems and many more. Such programs offer opportunities in higher education and R&D institutes. The life sciences apply to a wide range of industries from environmental and animal science to human health and medicine. You know different careers in life sciences are like laboratory technician, technical writer, microbiologist, medical sales representative, wildlife biologist, data manager, ecologist, biomedical engineer and many more other career options are there in different branches of life science. Do you know the difference between basic and applied science? Basic science is concerned with the process of discovery or how things work and they don't concern how they will use that discovery or the knowledge that they create. While applied science take information that already exists and utilizes it for the solution of the existing problems. That means applied science is based on the basic science. There are more than 30 different branches of life science. But in this session, we will review some of major branches here. First branch is agricultural science. It is a very important branch of life science. Science is dealing with food and fiber production and their processing is called agricultural science. They include the technologies of soil cultivation, 
crop cultivation and harvesting, animal production and the processing of plants and animal products for human consumption. Agriculture is a wash developing economical industry. It is a good option to choose a career as an agricultural scientist. Next branch is anatomy. Anatomy is a field of biological science in which we study about the identification and description of the body structure of living organisms by dissection that is cutting open the body. It is a branch of morphology that deals with the structure of forms and functions of plants and animals. It investigates organs, structures and cells that exist in animals and plants. Next branch is astrobiology. It is the study of the presence of life on other planets in the universe. Astrobiology makes use of physics, chemistry, astronomy, biology, molecular biology, ecology, planetary science, geography and geology to investigate the possibility of life on other worlds. It helps to recognize biospheres that might be different from the biosphere on earth. Next branch is biology. Biology is the scientific study of life. It is a natural science in which we study different activities of living organisms. Biologists are able to study life at multiple levels of organization from the molecular biology of a cell to the anatomy and physiology of living organisms and evolution of populations. Next branch is bacteriology. It is the study of structure and function of the bacteria. It also deals with the advantages and disadvantages of bacteria. Some bacteria are good while other, some other bacteria are bad for us. Next branch is biotechnology. Integration of natural science and engineering science or technology in order to achieve the application of organizations for products and services. That is combined study of both the living organisms and technology is called biotechnology. It is an important branch of life science. Next branch is biochemistry. It uses the methods of chemistry to the study of biological processes. It explores the chemistry of living organisms and the molecular basis for the changes occurring in living cells. Biochemistry has become the foundation for understanding all biological processes. Next branch is bioinformatics. It develops methods and software tools for understanding biological data. It is an interdisciplinary field mainly involving molecular biology, genetics, computer science, mathematics and statistics. Next branch is biophysics. Application of physics in the study of biological process by applying the theories and methods of physics is called biophysics. Examples are fluid dynamics of blood flow, gas physics of respiration, radiation in diagnostics or treatment is the uses of biophysics. Next branch is botany. Scientific study of the physiology, structure, genetics, ecology, distribution, classification and economic importance of plants is called botany. That means Botany is the study of all processes of plants. Cell biology, next branch, it is also called cytology. It is the study of cell structure and function. Cell is the fundamental unit of life. Next branch is developmental biology. The study of the development of living organisms from zygote to full adult form is called developmental biology. Next branch is ecology. 
it is also called environmental biology the scientific study of the distribution and abundance of organisms the interaction among organisms and the interaction between organisms and their abiotic environment is called ecology next branch is evolutionary biology it is a process of gradual development of living organisms from their earlier form next branch is genetics it concerned with the study of genes genetic variation and heredity in living organisms histology is a branch of anatomy that deals with the minute structure of animals and plant tissues under a microscope that means a study of tissues is called histology next branch is immunology it concerned with the structure and function of the immune system it is a very important branch of the medical and biological science immunology is the study of how the body protects itself from microbes that causes infectious diseases and tumors next branch is microbiology it is the study of microorganisms or microbes like bacteria algae fungi and viruses microbes are vitally important to all life on earth as versatile organisms they play a major role in various biochemical processes such as biodegradation biodeterioration climate change food spoilage epidemiology and biotechnology next branch is molecular biology it deals with the structure and function of the biological macromolecules like proteins nucleic acids next branch is mycology scientific study of fungi is called mycology it deals with the good and bad effects of fungi their structure and their function next branch is neuroscience it deals with the structure and function of the nervous system and brain next branch is paleontology it concerned with fossil animals and plants like uh, dinosaur which existed prior in the world next branch is pathology it is the study of the causes and effects of diseases it deals with the laboratory examination of samples for diagnostic or forensic purposes next branch is pharmacology it is the branch of medicine concerned with the uses effects and modes of action of drugs it also deals with the origin composition therapeutic use and toxicology of drugs next topic is physiology it deals with the functions of living organisms and their parts study of the mechanism in a living system all the processes occur in living organisms are deal in physiology like respiration digestion photosynthesis all other processes next branch is phycology it is also called as algology it is a branch of botany concerned with the study of algae and seaweeds what are their structure function and uses next branch is structural biology it is the branch of molecular biology biochemistry and biophysics concerned with the molecular structure and function of biological macromolecules like protein rna next branch is taxonomy scientific study of naming defining and classifying groups of biological organisms based on shared characteristics and includes all organisms like plants animals and microorganisms of the world it deals with the nomenclature and classification of living organisms next branch is toxicology it is a branch of science which is concerned with the nature effects and detection of different poisons next topic is virology scientific study of viruses and viral diseases is called virology 
it involves properties cultivation structure and genetics of viruses it also deals with the advantages and disadvantages of viruses next branch is zoology it deals with the behavior structure physiology classification and distribution of animals so we can see that zoology is the scientific study of animals in this session we discussed about many branches of life science that's all for this session i will discuss the details of these branches in my upcoming videos whether you are eager to learn more about the living world or you are motivated towards betterment i will help you with the knowledge and ideas you need If you like my videos please subscribe my channel for more information and press bell icon for notification thank you for watching my video